Welcome to another session on IT and Automation Academy's YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the difference between DCS system and SCADA system. We will try to draw a clear line between these two systems. First of all, if in the case you guys haven't watched a separate video, detailed video about DCS system and SCADA system, the link would be provided somewhere here. I definitely recommend you to watch both sessions. If we talk about DCS, it's called Distributed Control System. And when we talk about SCADA, it's Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition System. You can definitely notice that we have one control word common in both SCADA and DCS. That means both SCADA and DCS have control functionality in it. In short, the line between DCS and SCADA system is very blurred. Now let's get into the difference between SCADA and DCS. When we talk about the DCS and PLC systems, both are actually factory-centered systems, whereas your SCADA can be geographically dispersed. What I mean to say is you will find DCS in a factory environment, and whereas your SCADA system would be more popular where you have three or four sites and they need to connect to one main control room to visualize everything. Like for instance, you have site A in one country, site B in another country, and site C in another one, and they want to talk to each other. DCS system will never ever apply there. You will definitely rely on the SCADA system. And as we discussed on the SCADA videos, the SCADA can be also factory centered, but the specialty of the SCADA system is to connect remotely. So when we talk about the DCS system, as we explain, it's a factory centered. There is a short distance communication in DCS system comparative to SCADA system. That's why a DCS system have high speed communication as compared to SCADA system. As we explained earlier, SCADA system can be geographically at different locations. That's why there is a high distance communication required for SCADA. This is the reason SCADA systems are of low speed as compared to DCS. If you talk about the DCS system, DCS system are redundant. That means each area have, instead of one controller, two controllers there, and each unit would be actually managed and controlled by a separate system of two controllers. If your system is redundant, fine, your operation would be smooth. There's less chances of downtime in that situation. But the problem here is with redundancy feature in a DCS system, cost of the DCS system is comparatively very high as compared to SCADA system. When we talk about the SCADA system, SCADA system can also be implemented with the low cost. And it's not a must requirement of redundancy in most of the SCADA system projects. DCS system main job is to control the process and it relies on instrumentation, sensors and controllers. Whereas your SCADA system is even driven and SCADA system prioritizes data acquisition, the DCS system is mostly pre-programmed. So when you have a package coming in your site to control something, most of the control functionality is already there. There's a minor tweaks that you have to actually implement or change during the commissioning phase. That's a different case. Whereas your SCADA system is not pre-programmed and that need to be programmed, DCS system is definitely connected to your controllers and IOs. It's a system that consists of HMIs, controllers, and IOs. If your controller fails or any instrumentation that it's failed at the field end, you might see a shutdown there. And when we talk about the SCADA system, in a SCADA system, if your communication failed by any reason, your SCADA system can still function. That's all about the differences we have between SCADA and DCS system. If you like this video, consider hitting the like button. If in the case you haven't subscribed this YouTube channel, consider subscribing. Till next video, take care and Allah Hafiz.